ഹായ് ഓൾ ഇന്നത്തെ വീഡിയോ ബേർഡ് ബാൻഡിങ്ങിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ളതാണ് സ്പ്രിങ് സീസണിൽ ഈ ഏരിയയിൽ വരുന്ന പക്ഷികളെ പിടിച്ച് അവരുടെ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് എടുക്കുകയും പിന്നീട് അവരുടെ കാലിൽ ഒരു റിംഗ് ഇട്ട് അവരുടെ മൈഗ്രേഷൻ പ്രോസസ്സ് റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു പ്രോസസ്സാണ് ബേർഡ് ബാൻഡിങ് എല്ലാ വർഷവും സ്പ്രിങ് സീസണിൽ ഇവിടെ നടക്കുന്ന ഒരു പ്രോസസ്സാണിത് പക്ഷികളുടെ മൈഗ്രേഷനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള പഠനത്തിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായാണ് ഈ പ്രോസസ്സ് നടക്കുന്നത് ഇങ്ങനെ പക്ഷികളുടെ കാലിലിടുന്ന ഓരോ റിങ്ങിനും ഓരോ ഐ ഡി ഉണ്ടാവും പക്ഷികളെക്കുറിച്ച് അറിയാൻ താല്പര്യമുള്ളവർക്ക് ഈ വീഡിയോ വളരെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിരിക്കും young man back here would you like to help release this bird <laughs> would you like to can you put your hand can you put your hand flat now yeah, just leave it flat okay Oh, you birders. <laughs> Give me family. Sparrow. Sparrow, you got it. Now. For those of you newer to birding, a classic sparrow. This is a classic sparrow, wing and tail. Um short wings. Tail looks long cuz the wings are so short and then this kind of pattern. Um that part's really easy. The next thing, does anybody know right off the top of your head what you got what I've got? Our, Lincoln sparrow. Good job. Oh. Yeah. All right, the next thing after you figure out it's a sparrow is you say does it have a clear breast or a streaked breast? Streaked. It has a streaked breast. And then you say, "Where am I?" And then you go to your bird book. <laughs> <laughs> And at this time of year, there are two street sparrows they look a lot alike they can be easily confused that are found here one of them is here year round and then there's this one which is the lincolns that's just coming through on migration and um the other one is the song sparrow um the song sparrow the streaks are much bolder and you see this guy's got a white throat and then a sort of tan yeah. line yeah. white throat tan line then white belly with the streaks on it um and that separates the lincolns from the song and this guy's just passing through can we get a push up <laughs> okay this is cool um i um when i blow i'm basically just parting the feathers their skin is transparent so i'm looking right through their skin and they put on fat and lincolns lincolns is like they're never going to die off they have so much food available they always have fat on them um they put this is our it's called the fricular hollow and they put on fat there and theirs is a bigger v than ours and then they put on fat back here and we're looking right through the skin. The only problem with this one is that his muscle and oh there it is. Okay. Make you glad your skin's not see-through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's really Wow. And if he's got it there Oh, yeah, yeah, look at all that. <laughs> yeah. which is great. Um this is a really nice start of the season. I think um this gives you an idea of um when we start to see birds and you see the Lincoln sparrow um today today's the 25th, 4th, 23rd. Third. We this is real early for us to be opening this 23rd. Um so the Lincolns are already here. The house wrens we normally see um somebody heard one today but we haven't caught any yet 
Um, here's the yellow rumped warbler, which was that first bird that you guys saw. It's already here. And the hermit thrushes could show up any time. Um, as we get later in the season, we're talking about birds that are absolute, only eat insects and only eat flying insects. Um, the the, um, the flycatchers tend to be later. Um, the vireos, um, and then the bigger birds that are really into fruits, orioles, tanagers, um, cedar waxwings, they're all later in the season. And they're all coming through or coming back at the time when their food is most available. Mm -hmm. So, put a band on it. Measure the holds the license for all of us who, who ban for them. Um, and any bird that is going to pass or winters here or just comes through during migration um, should receive a U.S. government ban if somebody is banding. So I worked on a project in Costa Rica where we were working on a, on a resident species in Monte Verde and that's what we were aiming to catch but we caught incidentally caught birds that were down there in the winter time um, that were going to come back to the United States and we had U.S. government bans in addition to the ones the Costa Rican bans um, and those birds were getting the U.S. government bans. The goal is to get bans on as many birds as possible. Um, when they started I think they thought that would be the way you figure out where every bird went from one place to another and then of course they figured out that was not going to be nearly enough information it's not enough to so have them which is when we get into feathers, which allow us to learn more about where they came from geographically. Um, on a lot of bigger birds, especially birds of real specific high concern, um, they're putting on tracking devices, um, which provide a lot more information. Um, but all of the ways that you figure out anything about an individual bird, which allows you to know about that population of, of that species, you got to catch it. To take something off of them, like blood or a feather, or you got to put something onto them um, in order to. So, banding is a really big thing. Um, um, wing. Um, 59 on the wing, 52 on the tail. Another, what was that, five, five. six? Uh, yep. Whatever the other one was, this one is two. What color is the fat? The fat is yellow. Yellow. The fat, it looks like chicken fat. And his, and the, and everything else we see is muscle. I mean, that's all you see on a bird. Yeah. Um, and the muscle's red. Um, let's see. One, one, one dash dash, you dash dash. Hello? Oh, it's uh, one dash dash.
Of course they do. <laughs> I spend a lot of time watching that <laughs> and getting feathers out of my lip trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do it, the, you know, it's... You can Another one that's if I were getting away, which I'm not either. because the wind's blowing too much, that's what I would do. Okay. Something in between 15.2 and 17.2. Go right in there. Oh. No way. Meredith does with the things in the bag. So. Um, but no, seriously, you touch them so you can see what they're like. You can see each of these are really small holes. Um, when they start getting really windy and billowing, we close them because the birds can actually get hurt if they're caught in there. Um, this one's okay. Um, yeah, this is hard to see. And then um, these are designed to catch songbirds. So anything from hummingbirds up to about blue jays um, we catch. Now, sometimes we get bigger birds, like red-tailed hawks, but then that's because they just get all tangled up. Everything we can to make sure they don't get hurt, and uh, we handle them as little as possible, get them in and out as quick as we can. Um, we check the nets every 30 minutes at the longest. Um, if we have a lot of birds around, we oftentimes are just cycling the nets constantly. Um, Red-winged blackbird. Um, we, when the conditions are too hot, too cold, too windy, snowy, rainy, we shut down. I mean, we, do, we don't take chances with this. We close very um, and if we get too many birds sometimes, I mean, I've actually had times where we've had to shut down about half the nest because there were just so many birds we couldn't keep up with them. So that's, that's really critical for us. Everybody who's doing this has been trained, um, usually for uh, at least a couple of years before they start handling the birds. Um, some like me, um, this is my career. I've been an ornithologist now since 19... 73, so I've been at it a little while. Um, yeah, we were trying to calculate how many hundreds of thousands of birds that I've worked with in my life. Um, yeah, pretty fun. So this is for songbirds. Um, we're in the woods. We're trying to catch the birds. They're going to move through. They're going to fly in. We often don't catch many of the birds that are up high um, because they just never come down. Um, so we're really trying to just catch whoever comes through. If we really needed to get up there, we'd have to get a completely different way of trapping the birds. And we use elevator, literally elevated uh, systems to crank them all the way up and get into the canopies. But this is this is a, a migratory station, um, so it's going to be pretty much something that everybody can work with. Um, there's 25 nets out here. Um, they are all in the same positions that they've been in for the last 20 years, with a couple of minor changes because trees grew up or trees came down. Um, but the idea is we want to be able to compare the data every year, from one year to the next. Similarly, um, we open them the same hours every time, or we try to keep them open the same hours. When we have to shut them because of winds, rains, that gets noted and you know, becomes part of the calculations. Um, but the whole idea is we want to be able to compare as much as we can, from one year to the next, one season to the next, one week to the next. Oh, I just Okay, so when they come in, they fly in head first, then their wings, then their body, then their feet and tail. So when I take them out, I try to take them out exactly backwards of that. I just basically remove them the same way they went in. If I'm going to hold them by the legs, I hold them by the drumsticks, by the thighs, so that I can't um, injure the leg. Because the, the tarsus, the lower parts, are actually very fragile. Um, and mostly, though, what I do is I hold the whole bird, and that way he can't fight me, and he can't injure himself or get away. No, 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 no. That says it's a gambles, um, which is the one that migrates through here. The ones that breed here in the mountains are mountain, um, and they actually have, that would be black in that spot. So that tells me this is a migrating bird. He will end up breeding up in um, northern Alberta. 
um, and Saskatchewan. It's just that little gray right behind the bill. It's like a little... The, yeah, the, the whitish in front of the eye. Oh, I see it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. 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 So that's the gambles. And there's many other kinds, but right now, that's those are the two that come 